elements these elements to build our card okay so there are so many elements we have like action block chart custom lighting web component data table field flex card right icon image so we have to drag and drop this element to the left side okay the left side into the card so this is okay so what you see here is the space the card space so this is a card space okay so here we whatever we you will drag and drop here so that will get added to the card okay and it has little uh, less space so when you drag and drop okay you will you will have to little care when you drag and drop okay so where you are dragging drop so before you drag and drop so you have to wait for to see the line like okay if you see my screen when i drag and drop let's say i'm using a block element okay first time we are using a block element when you are drag and drop the block element so don't be in hurry to drag and drop so you'll see the blue line right so where exactly you are placing the element where exactly you are placing the element right so here you will see the blue line plus blue line so you have to wait for a second then drop okay so whatever the element you add here so by default you will see like okay the element name hyphen 0 then if i add another block it says block hyphen 1 block hyphen 2 by default that will element name will populate okay so what is a block element what is a block element the block element is the block element is it's a, a kind of container okay block element is kind of a container okay that means it contains the group of other elements it contains the other element if you want to place the elements as a group we can use a block element so block element is a, a group of other elements block element is a group of other elements so we can use a block element if i want to add other child elements inside a one element so we can use a block and inside the block we can add other elements we can add other elements okay so everyone drag and drop the block element and element name by default it will be the take it will take the uh, block name with the element name only you can change if you want you can change so element name i will say account okay just so because this is a account card so we have given the block name as account block account block account block okay so element name we have given as account so there is a property okay property now go to the style tab go to style tab go to style tab so here the block the block is occupied the full space right so we don't want this to be a uh, use a full space of the card okay so we want this uh, this so we we want this card should be responsive based on the based on the device so if it is a laptop or desktop if i am viewing in laptop desktop okay so how i will see if i am viewing in tablet table okay uh, if i am using in tab or mobile or if i am using like any mobile okay how how we will see so here you can see the pixel laptop 1024 the screen size is if it is a tab it will be 768 67768 okay 48 in uh, large mobile screens or small tabs if it is a mobile only 425 pixels okay so i want this to be a responsive okay if i am seeing this in different devices how i am going to how i am going to 
display to the customer if the customer is if the customer is using a different device to access this card okay so here in the style you see dimensions right so you see dimensions so what is the dimensions here okay i can so yesterday we have seen this if i reduce this if i reduce this dimension okay here to total it uses a 12 column space here it uses a 12 column space if i reduce let's say if the, my card should be okay i want to add two cards in the same i want to add two blocks in the same card you can add that okay here I'm not only doing for one single, it is not only for laptop or something. I want responsive. I want responsive means, see what happen if I, if you add a responsive toggle, just toggle on and see what happened. Responsive in once you, once we toggle, it is showing, okay, larger screen that is not 1024 means when user uses the laptop or desktop, okay so seven equal or seven six uh seven sixty eight means it is a like tab right or four eighty six less than four eighty means it can be a mobile or tab so when you access the application when you access the application in different devices how you want to show that is responsive see with a simple pointer click you are making the dynamic dynamicness of the card the responsive you are creating a responsive card okay fine so large for the large screen laptop you can say five reduce to five and medium you can reduce to four and uh, for small card also uh, reduce to four and same thing five triple we can do five for larger skin and remaining skin is again set to four everyone yeah yes okay so now what happened if i am seeing in different devices so it will be like this so we are it we are not saying really like uh, it's not using the full space okay it is not using the full space okay so it is using the half so because you are going to add another another card here you are going to use the another card here okay in the same style we have a minimum height and maximum height okay so minimum height we can uh, we can height we can set the height so minimum height uh, let's say we can set to uh, some 350 pixels and the maximum so you, it, you are just setting the height and width. Okay, we are just setting the height and width. 350 and 375 is the maximum height, height so pixels. So we just set the card height. So we just set the height and width. So width is a dimension. Setting the height and width is a dimension. Okay. So add the minimum height and maximum height of the card. Okay. So we set the card width and height. In the CSS, what we did? We set the width. We set the width and height. So 350 pixels. If you, you can see the what happened in the website. Immediately we can see the result in the canvas. Okay. Done everyone. Set the minimum height and maximum height. Yes. 
Okay. Now uh, go to the level, the same CSS tab. Go to appearance. Go to appearance. And you see border type. So the card border type here we want to set. Okay. So I want like for a border for four types. Okay, the border type like top border, right border, bottom left. Okay, uh, you can select all the four. How to select all the four? Every time you can select one one. And now I select top. Next you can select right, neck bottom, and then left. So every time you have to select one one. So drop down first select top, right, bottom, left. So every time you select that will add it to the selections. So we set the border. You can see like little small uh, line like that is a border we set. So what we are doing, we are designing the card. We are designing the card. So we set the high width, height, and border. So what else we have here? So once you add this top, left, right, bottom, go to the alignment section. We have alignment. So for every element, so we can set the height, width, background, appearance, alignment, and the custom CSS. So these are the main sections we have. So what we have dimensions, appearance, alignment, and custom CSS. So these are the sections we have. So these are the different CSS we can add. Dimensions, appearance. Appearance is nothing but like how you want. You, want, you can add the border, you can add the background. Alignment, like adding the padding, margin, Okay, and custom CSS, if you want to implement any custom CSS, you can implement the custom CSS. Okay, so in appearance, have you added the border? Yeah. Okay, so now alignment. Okay, let's go to alignment. In the alignment page, in the alignment page, uh, you see already uh, around x is small okay so these are all the just with the point and click we are adding the design we are adding the design to the card we are adding the design to the card so here let's add a board uh, border type a uh, uh, padding type so we need some bottom okay we need padding bottom Around or bottom or around, we need around. So not not okay. Alignment, padding. We don't want bottom. We need around. Around padding. We need a space like around. Okay. So go to the around. How do you see? Okay. If you don't see the around here, just click on mouse down arrow. It will go down, and you see around. Padding around. And what is the size? Padding around size. You can select X is small. You can use padding. So, okay, from where it will come. So Salesforce have lightning. Lightning design system. So Lightning Design System is a Salesforce, okay, sales, Salesforce own library. It's a CSS library, okay. So as we selected the theme as Lightning, so it will give it will get the complete flavor of Lightning. So where these things are coming, how it is understanding, okay. So if you see the padding, okay, what we have, right? So these are the classes they implemented top left around in around also we need a like in around padding what we need x is small so this is the one which we are implementing x is small in around we are implementing x small. so we are not writing a code so this is for who want to write a code they can use the css class 
but everything is implemented it is, everything is available in the in the just as a drop down excess small excess small small medium large okay if you see this around medium small excess small x double x small triple x small large at x x large these are the same css from where we are getting this lightning design system css that is a lightning theme means so we are using lightning theme okay and we are applying this css we are applying this css the same css library the same css library we are applying okay as a just a point and click we are doing as a point and click okay clear fine so once you select around and x is small once you select the around x small click add add the padding add the padding you see the uh, the now what what you can see here account if you see here account is have got some padding space around right so it got some padding space so the space what you see is a padding what we added so confirm me once everyone done so let's add the margin also if you want to add additional margin let's see what it is what it will do so here you can add just a bottom a medium add the margin for this card add the margin bottom medium bottom medium so the margin we got like if you see the space we got some margin space here bottom medium okay done everyone bottom mar bottom medium margin type yeah okay and also add horizontal the same margin horizontal and use x large you see this horizontal we added x large okay and immediately you see this thing like what is happening here right so we you see now bottom and horizontal large we got some like the card now if i design a card that will be in this boundary only okay we added some css so this will be in boundary we got some margin we got bottom and horizontal horizontal means it, it it will be added in the left and right okay so that is adding the css so let's see uh, if i want this kind of shadow okay i want to add this kind of shadow what okay so here we use a, we can use this css okay what what i'm trying what we are trying to do is what if we want to add what if you want to add some like i want my card okay i want my card should have some shadow the box shadow okay how we can add this kind of box shadow okay so let's see this so let's this looks nice so let's use this i want we want to use this so if i want to use apart from all these sessions sessions like uh 
appearance section alignment section if you see the dim in dimension we can set the height and width in appearance we can select uh, set the background color okay how it want to appear and alignment like adding the padding and margin we can do in the alignment and the custom css we have custom css right we have some custom css so we have already you can see the inline css in the inline css okay here you can add a container class or custom class you can create inline css you can directly apply okay so this this border shadow i am going to add here let okay five pixel is large i'll say only five pixels five pixels you can see we got some shadow so how to add inline css if we want to if we want to add any css how to add inline css how to add inline css even if we if we want to add any css we can use a css section and we can add the we can add the inline css our own css also we can apply our own css also we can apply okay so let me take this border i want to add some border one pixels i i just need very gray color of this border so the hexa code for so just border i am i am just reducing the border space so that it looks elegant you can see now it just look okay you can use as custom css what happened yeah so you can add this css i am adding to the chat let me know if you can copy this css from the chat yeah done no. okay that's great so hope you understand like how we design our elements hope okay this is that's how we design our elements okay that's how we design our elements okay so uh, just to remove this in the style i have given the code uh, the css right you remove the colon okay you will see that okay the border line one pixel okay so you can see the border with the color what we have and uh, the gray color okay so that border will display here but remove the colon okay now here we successfully added a block and we set the height width and we added the margin we added the padding we just changed the border added the custom css so we added so many things we design our block okay if i want another block i need another block to display the to display the weather information 
okay so simply what you can do is as we added the css everything here okay so we can simply clone the card we can simply clone the block so to clone the block if you mouse over on the account block you see plus icon so this is a cloning this is a cloning so click on the clone the plus icon you see the plus there are two icons if you want mouse over you see two icons remove and the clone so click on this clone icon click on this clone icon you see another another block with the same css another block with the same css so clone the card you see another block another block with the same css so just once you clone change the name to weather change the name to weather okay so we successfully created a block element and we designed the element so what we learned how we added the block element and what is a block element and we created a we so we added the style and we clone a block okay so whatever the changes you have done to the card if you want to push the changes to the lightning web component which we have created a study whenever you create a light uh, card the back end it create a lightning web component what if you want to push you either need to activate or you can do preview okay so once everyone done you can do click preview and observe what is happening once you click preview observe what is happening what is happening generating card lightning web component right so what it is what it will do it will generate and deploy to the salesforce the lightning web, web component already there so it will just update the things to the code okay you see that this is our preview this is a preview clear everyone how we preview how it will display on the ui Please confirm me once you're able to preview. Yeah. Yes, I'm able to. Okay, that's great. You just ignore this. So it is expecting to add some uh, test parameters. Okay, it will not block us anything. If we want, if we don't want to show, we uh, show. The, we, if we don't want to see this error message. We want to add some test parameter. Okay, that's why we will we are not working with the live data. Now we are working on the the data. Uh, now we are working on the stub data. So no need to worry here. Okay, fine. Now the block the blo block is ready. The card is ready. Now we have added the card a design. Now we need to display the data. So why we are creating a card to display the data and actions, right? so let's see how we can okay how we can create a okay how we can add the elements to display the data okay so let's see how we can add the data on this okay so here again okay, click and click design to go back to the build click on the design so that you can go back to the build okay now from the build panel from the build panel okay so here we want now we want to display the yeah so now what we have done so far is so we have done just creating a block so this is what we have done so we added the account and weather block we added account and weather block now let's focus on the account block only okay now let's focus on only account block so we will we are going to build the account block okay now we are going to display we are going to display the account block this is the account card account block we have 
okay in the account block what we need to do in the account block what what we are expecting here okay what i need is i need i need a header in the card i need a header which will display which will display some icon small icon and here i need the account name i want to display some icon and account name is a header of the card and i need another i need another block in this block i want to display i want to display so whatever the data we are getting whatever the response okay what your response we are getting so we are getting the account this is a json right so we are getting the account website phone i account id primary contact name and postal code right so let's display this information let's display this information let's say primary contact primary contact phone website postal code yes postal code yeah id we want to yeah so this is the information i want to display like this and we okay we are displaying the data is fine we want a actions the menu of actions the menu of actions so we use we use here some menu of actions we display here okay so once user click on this menu it should display like uh, so we have a menu element which will display the list of actions list of actions that is a menu element so we are going to add the actions in the menu whenever user click on this menu it will display the list of action and user can perform the action so this is what we are expecting in this card in this card to design okay. so what we need to use here okay how to display how to display these fields primary contact phone website postal that is very important so how many ways we can display the data so let's learn how many ways we can display the data this is very important i need every i need 100% attention from you okay so display the data using the different ways different ways okay so here if you go back to our uh, build see in the we have in the build panel we have build and elements tab right we have build and element elements and field section if i expand the field section what you see account id account name phone postal code primary contact website so from where this from where these fields are coming how i can see these fields how it knows only i need to add the account information is this something dynamic yes it is dynamic so from where it is coming from where it is coming this is coming from the json once you load the json whatever the node names the key will be there that will treat as a field name the flex card that will the card that is a kind account name is a contains a name so what is a container the node is a container of value the key these are all the key it treat as a fields if i directly drag and drop if i want to display account name if i drag and drop okay the account name it will display like account name label and it is displaying don't do that so account label and it is displaying the value of value what account name holding so place holder what it holds place holder inc place holder inc okay i don't need this i am removing this 
Okay, so this is one way. This is one way. This is one way. So okay, can try and question. Yes. So how do we get this? Wait, wait, did we given the JSON uh, format? We never given a JSON format, right? So how do we get this account ID, account name, and account phone? How it's getting mapped between the both? Hey, yesterday we did this, right? Yeah, yesterday we did. Yeah. So. Yeah, we yesterday we we yes, yes. Uh, I remember that. Right? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. So integration procedure, team master get details, and we add the result JSON path to load only the account details. Right? Yeah. If I save and fetch, so this is the data, data which loaded on the card. Okay. So yeah, as whatever yes, whatever the data we load. So if we want to display the field information, so we have field list. This is called field list. This is called field list. So we can use field list to display the data on the card. This is one way. This is only one way, okay? Let me show you the other, okay? Field is a one way. And there are some elements. There are some elements like field element. is a field element okay so you can drag and drop the field element it is adding okay so field element we'll see like place in that we'll see later now for just to understand purpose okay so field element what field i have so many fields what fields you want to display what fields you want to display let's say label you give the account name as a label. What value you want to display? The output. I want to display name. So you can, okay, whether it is a type, date, or number, right? You can set the date. You can, by default, it is with text. So you can, if you want, if you are using the number or date or currency, you can, dis, you can uh, see if I select the date. I can set the format of the data in which format dd y y m y m m if you are using the currency or date fields this kind of things you can set the format or you want to display y y y m m d d which format you want to set when you so when we use this field element when you are using the like you can, you can use for normal field also but very helpful when you are using the some date or date or currency in a specific format you want to display then we go with the field element so field list is the first option and field element is a second option to display the data field element we can use the, so displaying the data in the different types we can use a field list you can have to drag and drop the field list which field you want to show the data and field element is a element which is available in the elements the build tab okay so that is a one another to display the data so you have to select the label and you have to select the output what you want to display so again this will be coming from the json what we have loaded right so this is the json what we have what we have loaded on the screen on the page got it so this is another way that is another way okay this is the second way there is another way third way okay so we can use we can use some text element there is a called text element there is other element called text element in the build if you go a little down you see yes text element it's kind of rich text field okay a rich text field so here here it is like html block Rich, rich element, text element is a rich text editor. Rich text editor. Rich text editor. What we can do the rich text editor? If you see the property, once you drag and drop, if you go to the property, here you see edit me. Right? Edit me. You can write whatever label you want. Let's say account name. 
account name. If I select the account name, okay, if I want to make it as a bold, okay, or if I want to change the label to like, there is no other field or field list is giving this option for us, right? Like styling the, like styling the label, right? And also, now this is the label, whatever the label you want, you can add the label. And how about the data? What data I want to show? If you see here, we have fields. If you drag and if you go to the fields again, this will, this will also show the same node information, account name. You see this, placeholder and see, right? If I want to change the border or color, So we have, it's, that's why we said it's a rich text data, HTML block. So you can say if you want to display the data in the format, we can use a text element. So this is a three ways we can display the data. These are three ways we can display the data. Is it clear? So what are the, dis, the different three ways? What are the three different ways? What are three different ways? Please note down, displaying the data on the card, we can display the data on the card in three ways. One is using the field list, second is using the field element, and third way, third way is using the text element. Please note down. This is very important. Certification question. Okay. Interviews. So I will always say interview question or something. It's very important. So displaying the data in a different field list. So you can use a field list, field element, and text element. And what is the use? So field list is you can just drag and drop. And field element you can, uh, if you want to define the format, field element support different formats. If you want to, if you're using the date or currency, if you're using a date or currency, we can use us, we can, we will suggest to use a field element. Okay. So in our sessions, we're using the field elements, text elements. Okay. Clear everyone? Yeah. Is that clear everyone? Okay. So these are the three different ways we display the data, we display the data, okay? Fine. So now, let's design our card. So what, what is our, how we are designing the card? So if you see the block, so currently what we have, currently what we have, we have this block. We have this block. Now what we need to do? We need to add two more blocks. One block, will contain the name and icon header, card header, which contains the two elements. And we need another block. We need another block to display the data, other data. So header and data. So we have to design the two block. Inside a block, we have to add two blocks. Inside, inside a block, we have to add two blocks. Okay, let's add two blocks. Okay, so let's go to build. Where you have to drag and drop? In the account card. Drag and drop in the account card. Drag and drop in the account card. So go to build panel. Go to build panel. So use another block element drag and drop you see the left okay so you see that you should see the line blue line in the left side and center you can drop All right okay okay so inside this please take it inside the block so please take it inside the block
Okay. So this element name, once you drag and drop the inside the block, are you able to drag and drop the inside the blo account block? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. So change the name element to, so what we, it's a header. So what we are displaying here, icon and the name of the, okay, the card account name, the name of the account. So you can, we can uh, give the name as icon header. Give the name icon header. Icon header. Yes, yes, you okay. drag in the, no, no, no. Add a block account, block card. Okay, not account block zero, but just a no. block, right? Okay. Yeah. Just a block, just a block. Okay, yes. yeah, I'll just change that. See, once you add drag and drop any other things, right? By default, it says, see the blue line. Now, how it says account block one. So previously it might show, so what is a pay? So it follows the hierarchy. So block one, you added under the account. Got it? Mm -hmm. If I add another element, Let's mm -hmm. say if I add another element, let's say inside the account, I added an action inside account block one. What is the element name? And mm -hmm. so, uh, we, we can see the hierarchy. Account is of main block. Inside the account, inside the account, we have block one. Inside the block one, we added the action zero. Action. Okay, one, zero, one. What is zero, one? So this is the first action. Okay, once you add another, it will add another action like that okay so you just need the, the what you did is correct but you have to just change the name element name account icon header that's it so make sure the block is inside the account block so what we have this is our account block inside that we added an icon header so icon header inside the icon header we what we need inside the icon header what we need Icon inside the icon header block. What we need? We need icon, and we need to display the text. We need to display the field. How we display the field? So here, what we are using? Let's use the text element. So inside the icon header. Now, what is element name? Icon header. So inside the icon header inside the icon header let's add icon element called icon drag and drop inside the block icon header block you see the blue line inside the icon header drop okay so let okay now we added the icon header drag and drop the icon header inside the icon header block drag and drop the icon element inside the icon header block okay good so what else we need we need to display the account name which way we are using we are using the text element here okay so use the text element again go back to the build and drag and drop the text element so we, here little little careful because here we have laid a very less space when you drag and drop make sure the text element you see the blue line just after the icon and inside the icon header okay so make sure you place like this. And you can name it as, I, you can change the name, account, context.
okay so what else we so we added the icon element we added the account element icon element we added the text here okay but how to place this we do some css later okay now what we need to place what other elements we need we need to display this information primary contact phone website postal code and menu okay so let's let's add this let's complete the uh, blueprint of a card then we will design okay so let's complete the blueprint so what we need here what we need here one more block yeah we can use a one more block or let's directly instead of using one more block let's use the same okay directly we can use we can use text element yeah or... text element yeah we can let's use the text element here okay first let's use a text element so the out of the block icon header this is icon header okay out of the icon header what you can do is go to build and drag and drop the text element just after the account block uh, icon header and we need to display primary contact phone website postal code how many fields we need to display four so you can instead of drag and drop every time you can clone once you drag and drop the text element just hit the clone oh 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 my bad it added inside the oh fine this is outside the block only you just clone for three times so we have primary contact website phone and postal code perfect so make sure this data is outside the icon header the name it will display icon account text one account text two account text three four like that so let's clone okay so what else we need here please let me know once you're done i'm done yeah good so what else we need here in the card we got icon to display account name and other data we got all this so what else we need here we need a menu element to display the actions so where you will add the menu element where you will add the menu element so after okay you have four text fields four text elements okay take the menu element take the menu element menu element to display the list of actions so drag the menu element in between the second okay the first edit edit me is there right the after first edit me and second drop this so this should be the second okay so place this menu place this menu after the edit me after the first edit me of the field okay so this is we have created a blueprint of a card so what we will do tomorrow we will re, we will add and we do the styling we will add the data and then we do the style of the card okay so then we will, now we will populate the icon we will populate the data on this card okay and we do the style that we'll do tomorrow is that clear everyone today what we have discussed like how to use a block element what is the use of block element and 
how to do the style using the like what is a dimension what is the responsiveness feature this is a responsiveness feature is also a certification question what is the use of responsiveness in the style you see okay in the style you have to be clear okay what we have what options we have dimensions appearance alignment and custom css so we have used all the sections okay today we have you for the block we have used dimension we have used appearance we have used alignment we have used higher custom css too inline css right so we should be clear with what inside the style element so after completing this module we should be able to know each and everything like what is this every option we should be able to crack the certification or into anything okay so dimension appearance alignment and css these are the in the inside the css we have dimensions appearance alignment and css okay cool fine so that's what it is okay in the css and the dimension the specifically what is the responsive feature that is one thing and people ask okay what is the responsive feature okay so what is a responsive feature we can enable the component as a responsive any uh, any if you would access this card any device it should be responsive according to the screen size okay so that's one thing and how to dis how many ways to display the data okay what are the elements we have used here icon element text element field okay what is a field list how many ways to display the data right we have learned how to how many ways we have this we have to display the data and we are just using the text element so tomorrow we will populate the data using this text element okay clear everyone any questions okay Emma, can we like uh can you ask okay we can if you have a few questions uh, can we discuss that later if you have any technical questions related to this you can ask me now uh have you gone through the recordings no not at all this is my first day actually this is my demo day also okay okay so uh, no problem so what we have done is so the data source what we are using so basically we need to before that we need to understand what data source what data source we are using okay what data source we are using and what are the different data sources we have that's a really uh, good question so here we have if you go to the setup okay first of all i'll share the link okay uh, the team will share the link and information what you have to do first you have to create this account okay so once you create account what you have to do is if you want i can take another session for you okay for the like uh, the whatever we have done i will so weekend if you are free uh, let the team know okay for you i will take the other session okay and they will discuss okay. so what is the last year because okay thank you everyone We'll catch up tomorrow. Have a good day. Good night. Take care.